turn on the mainframe. No. Okay. No. Turn on the computer. <laughs> turn on the mainframe. Hey. hey. What is this? Episode four. No. Shoot, five. This will be vlog number five. Vlog number five, yeah. We got the light we bought in the last vlog. I'm going to take that Ooh. apart. Can take that apart, stuff. get some COB, SMB LEDs out of it, and then I'm yep, going to do yep. some coding on the software end. Yep, so we got hardware, software. Yeah. And hopefully get some progress in this. So this was working in just a few minutes, like, last night. So that's supposed to change color when it, when you click on it, but for some reason it's air. All right, we are in for the most part. We got everything disconnected, and these lights are actually separated pretty, pretty nicely. We'll just kind of have to cut off those caps right there. All right, so now we have the lights completely separated, and those will be nice and handy to use. They came out just perfectly, as we were hoping. So that's pretty sweet. The switch also nice and easily comes out, so. All right, guys, disconnecting these two battery banks are gonna be way too much work. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm essentially going to extend probably this lead right here and this lead right here so we have more wire to work with because I have some wire right here. We'll just extend that out and we'll be able to have the switch be right next to the LEDs with the batteries further away so it's kind of out of the way. So that'll be the next plan. All right, guys, now what we're going to do next is prepare these wires with some solder so that we're able to be ready to put them on. All right, next we got to prepare to connect the green to the black here. This is actually black. It looks red, but it's black. So we'll kind of twirl those together a little bit. It has solder on it, so it's not really going to twirl too well. But we'll get it good enough. Hold it there like that. And we should be able to just get them to connect just like that. Let it sit for a second. And that'll do for black on green. And then we get the black on... Actually, this is red on red, which makes a little more sense. Whoa. Oh, it's on. There we go. So now, we might need a little more solder on this one. But we'll try without adding more solder. Kind of twirl them together a little bit, get them connected. And then, pair those... I think that might have got them. Yeah. So there we go. And then we'll turn it on here in a second. Okay. So we're gonna we got these like sunglasses. What are they for? For this looking They're at the for sun? the solar eclipse. For the solar eclipse, right? Probably got them from school. Right? Uh yeah, something like that. So we actually we put these things on and we were like, oh we might be able to see them. But like I put them on and they were like completely black. Yeah, so these are really bright. We want to actually be able to see the diodes in there. So but you could act. With. You can actually. So I'm gonna put it over so the screen. So it's over the gonna, thing right now. It's not. There, there we go. There you Look, go. You can see the diodes. Yep, they're on. Each and dudes. That's actually like amazing. Right up close. See if you can, yeah. Woo. That's cool. Okay, so I finally finished fix this issue. So see when you click them, and then these are should be disabled. Yeah, they're currently locked, as you see there. You or Matt, so I see you uh, have your tripod there. Yep, I had the tripod to record the soldering iron. I needed to get the perfect angle. So, so you stuck it in your sock. So I stuck it in my sock. It wasn't <laughs> quite high enough, so I found the solution. <laughs> it worked, okay? We got the angle. <laughs> <laughs> you, anything for that shot, yep, all right? Yep, anything yep. for the shot. Just real quick, I want to take a look at this line of code. Line 41, look at this. This is like the longest if statement ever. Probably not ever. But it doesn't fit in tweet. Hey, where's where's the thermal tape? I don't know. It's probably like over here or something. Dude, we lost it again. Uh, oh, constant blue tape. That'll probably work. It, it might catch on fire, but it'll be good enough. Catch on fire. What? Catch on fire. Catch on what? It will catch on fire. 
Yeah. Okay, well, we'll try to find it. Oh, ooh, it might be in the 3D printer stuff. Oh, right here. Found it, Matt. Did you find it? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Sweet. I honestly don't understand why it's working. Well, I mean, you gotta get it to work somehow. So. Okay, Matt, should we order pizza? Uh, sure. I'm hungry. Pretty hungry. Okay, let's go. The pizza has arrived. <laughs> what are you eating there, Matt? Pizza. <laughs> pizza? Pepperoni? And what? That's my water. You watch it. Fine. Watch it right now. Look at it. Stare at it. No! Okay, there you go. <laughs> so you know the saying, smart minds think alike? Yeah. Well, our, our smart minds think quite a lot alike, because we just both inadvertently got the, got same. the exact same amount of food. <laughs> we each got two pieces of pepperoni pizza, a breadstick, and a thing of cheese. And wa both waters. And both waters. And both waters. Yeah. Yep. Great minds think alike, guys. Right now we're eating dinner, but we're also going to start booting up the main thing here and uh, test out the new lighting system that Matt just built. We have I it finished all my hardware and I haven't finished like two lines of code. <laughs> oh wait, no. Didn't even finish one line of code. Okay, I did more than that. <laughs> I made it... You know what? You know what? Shut up. <laughs> I'm debugging. It's finished now. I'm debugging. Alright, alright, alright. So we built this thing. There it is. Then we're going to put it underneath here, mounting it underneath here. And then this is the light system. Probably we'll build one that plugs in the wall later, but right now we're just going to run off of this. So we're going to get this booted up. Computer, turn on the mainframe. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Turn it on. Beautiful. LG. Yep, that's about it, guys. That's about it. See you in the next episode. Just kidding. Okay, so right now we're trying to figure out how to mount this monitor above higher so we can get this light behind in the middle. The couple options we have is these little air hockey things and then these monitor mounts that I built. They're actually built to clip on right down here. That's bright. Yeah, that is bright. Look at that. Whew. Put that over. So yeah. One of the filter <laughs> papers is slow <laughs> slipping. Yeah, right. Actually you know what? Oh there we I'd fixed it. You fixed it? Okay. Yeah, I fixed it. There we go. Okay. So we got these up on a air hockey table like things and we're gonna put that little right. thing in, right is, there. Is it flipped over? Is that right? I don't know. I think it's like that. Um no it's the other way. It's the other way. No, it's not. No, oh yep, they're both yellow on both sides. <laughs> Okay, right there? It's, it's not straight. Yeah. Oh, that'll do. And okay, flip that thing on. And on. Oof. I did a little bit. <laughs> that, that did actually a lot. Turn it off. All right, wait. I got to get my hand. Put my hands under here. Um, switch is... Just yeah. clip this part out, Matt. Yeah. Oh, that, okay, that actually did a pretty decent amount. I'll try to just hold it. Okay, there. hold it up there. That does a lot. Where's the, where's the? Uh, hands are too big. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, oh, that looks good. Okay, on the camera it looks really, oh that, oh that looks really good, okay. Right now we're brainstorming bases ideas on how we're supposed to design the base. And we're looking yeah. at some of so our old So we made designs. a bunch of different models and stuff of things to wonder about how it would look. Yeah. So that's what you've been imagining. Yes, this is kind of what I've been thinking. Okay. Oh, I kind of like that because it gives us more um, screen space. And I feel like screen, screen space is kind of important. Yeah, plus, like, I always imagine this, because some of our other models, the screen is, like this one, the screen's, like, all the way down on the ground. And yeah. I always thought you need some, like, space for your wrist to kind of sit on the table, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. So, well, I don't know, because I guess that would also work. It would just have to be at a lower angle. Yeah. Points. Yeah, it's gonna have the same mounting, very similar mounting yeah. points. So then, if we had, you know, this would be an and it's gonna be there. concave, yeah. So it holds that. What if we made it just a plate? So you have the the quote unquote mounting plate. Uh huh. And that is completely separate from the base. And, so and that, mounts into the base. Yeah, that that way. We okay, can so keep the whole this and we can do different designs for the base and experiment with that easily. So I like that. So we don't have to reprint the mounting yeah. plate. And the mounting plate, then the physical, then there's only way, two if, points. If we change something with the mounting plate, then we don't have to reprint the whole entire base. Yeah, and there will only be two mounting points to the base. Yeah. I like that. Can we get working on that? Yeah. Okay. Darn it. All right, do it again. Wait, turn it on. Turn on the mainframe. Computer, turn on the mainframe. Sorry, I didn't find the device name frame. 
turn on the mainframe. No. Okay. No. Turn on the computer. <laughs> turn on the mainframe. Okay. Hey. 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 Finally. I found another our acronym for our lights. DRL. What does that mean? Stands for daylight running lamps. Well, they do run in the daylight, don't they? I mean, yeah, I guess so. So, I mean... What are we going to call them now? All right, let's see. So, the DRL, COB, SMD, LEDs. Yeah. DRL, SMD... No, all right, screwed up. Say that ten times fast, Matt. DRL, COB, SMD, LEDs. Nope. That's once. <laughs> okay, Matt, take the first time you said it and take that clip and pray it back ten times and make it go make really, it really, fast. really fast. We'll see. Yeah. Power, six watts, but <laughs> each one is actually five watts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they lie and <laughs> just admit the lie on the next yeah. line. <laughs> They're just like, never mind. Like, <laughs> uh, we were told to say this is six watts, but it's not. <laughs> just finished the software basically it's 100 percent done almost so now i'm gonna write a quick manual so i don't forget how it works that might be kind of important so right now well this is grammarly i'm working on the manual right now for nitrogen just so i don't forget the basic functions and then over here matt moved the awesome poster yes over here because so you're actually, actually using it. you're actually I'm using actually it actually using it to design so what are you designing right now i'm designing the bottom mounting plate that would mount onto the bottom. Okay, so why are we building a mounting plate instead of building the actual so base? So the mounting plate would allow us more versatility because we won't have to completely redesign or reprint the whole entire base. Instead, we can just put on the plate that we know works. And let's say we need to change the plate and we like the base. Then all we have to do is change a few dimensions and just print the plate, and we don't have to reprint the whole entire And this is obviously just for prototyping. You're working on that right now, and then there's a couple more things we have to do. Um, so we have to order the HDMI decoder because we need yes. to know if that screen works. We have yes. a screen, but we're not sure if it works, and if it doesn't and work... In order to test that, we need the HDMI... Was it encoder or decoder? Decoder. 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 No, it's probably encoder because it needs to go into it. Into not HDMI? Because it has to move it into HDMI, so it's probably all an right, encoder. so it's probably an encoder. Um, so we need one of those, and that, basically, we need that to yep. make sure that screen works, because then if it doesn't. We, if we get that screen working, we can tear it apart, add in the extra lighting thing that we're working on buying as yeah. well. Yeah, because we, we need to finish ordering stuff like that. This could come together, and yeah. quickly. It's very coming quickly. along very good. Yeah. Actually getting work done during yeah. the summer helps a lot. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, and then obviously we need to get the black back plates put together. Yeah. Yep. So see you guys in the next vlog, Tech Tuesday. Next Tech Tuesday. Next, yeah, the next Tech Tuesday. I yeah. don't know what it'll be after this vlog, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Bye-bye.